This morning it was announced that tour director Christian Prudhomme had tested positive for COVID-19, so he will now quarantine for the next week. Yesterday's test showed that I was positive. We didn't want me to be part of the race bubble. The most important thing for me is that no rider has been tested positive. Well, despite one staff member each from Cofidis, AG2 Anna Mondial, Ineos Grenadiers and Mitchelton Scott also testing positive, all 22 teams were able to set off today on the first ever Tour de France stage to visit the Ile de Ray. Some breathtaking scenery on the menu on a 168.5 kilometre ride from the Ile de Oléron. The peloton would have been more concerned with keeping an eye on potential crosswinds. It's never easy starting up again after the rest day, but on paper this was still a stage for the sprinters. The start then of stage number 10, Seb Piquet's had a good rest day clearly. Le départ réel donné à 13h43, 13h43 de cette dixième étape. We see an attack from two powerhouse riders who love a time trial, Stefan Kung and Michael Sharp. Two of the race's four Swiss riders, Stefan Kung and Michael Sharp, broke away early, but they never pulled more than two minutes clear of the field. The peloton starting to up the tempo with 100k to go, causing the day's first splits. This race is on now. A few big names caught out, including Dan Martin and Emmanuel Buchmann, before this crash split the main bunch into several groups. <laughs> Kung and Shah reeled back in only a few kilometers later. Well, heading through Rochefort, another crash, this time involving GC riders Tale Pogacar and Guillaume Martin, as well as sprinter Brian Cocker. All three riders eventually making it back to the main peloton. We see the sprint going on. Sam Bennett trying to come through the middle, but he hasn't got the legs today. Sagan is going to be on the line with Trentin. Trentin takes it, Sagan second, Bennett in third place. Putain, Barguil and the 84 Le Dadois. Another crash, Guillaume Martin is down and Julian Alaphilippe is now down. A chaotic old day in the saddle then, but the sprinters were all in the mix for the final dash to the line. 300 metres to go, de Kuhn in quick step, trying to lead out Sam Bennett. Caleb Ewan almost just relaxing in the wheel of Sam Bennett, ready to pounce. Now goes Sam Bennett, Ewan is ready to go past him. It's Bennett and Ewan in a drag race on the line. Sam Bennett punches the air. Waiting for this su such a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to thank everyone that's been involved. Just want to thank uh, the whole team and uh, Patrick for giving me this opportunity and uh, just everybody he took to get to here. And uh, I want to thank my wife and everyone around me. Sorry. Uh. An emotional victory for Sam Bennett, who is now a stage winner at all three Grand Tours. He also recovers the green jersey from Peter Sagan after his fifth victory of 2020. No changes overall. Primoz Roglic should stay in yellow again tomorrow with another sprint on the menu in Poitiers. Bennett will no doubt be looking to double up after becoming just the sixth Irishman to take a stage win on the Tour de France.